Bob postings? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything interesting? Nothing I haven't already applied to. Well, that's just stinky. You excited about trying to gluten free blueberry scone? I don't know, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet. I'm hoping that it'll be good. Something they're, to get excited. They're gonna about. be good. They're gonna be really, really, really good. Alright. Right, Boomer. You've got some butter in your beard. <laughs> now you got more in your beard. <laughs> now, now, I don't waste it. <laughs> you like those scones, huh? Cool. How many did you have? Three. So, say hi to Megan, everybody! Hi! What are you doing, sweetheart? Being kitten. How old are they? I don't know. Um, they're strays, so I don't really know. They're maybe a couple weeks at the most, because they still have their umbilical cords and stuff. But they still have their eyes closed. And they're very hungry all the time. And you have to get up every four hours mm -hmm. to feed them. And she's got three that are this age and one that's... Slightly older. I'm guessing around four weeks for the older one. And tell everybody why you do this. Um, the kittens come into the shelter and... Um, they usually, either they come in with their mom, but their mom is too feral, so she runs away, or they come in, um, without a mom and they're just found, or they're dropped off, and if someone doesn't bottle feed them, they get euthanized because no one can take care of them. Now, when you say come into a sh the shelter, is that a place where you work, or you volunteer, it's... I work at the shelter, we do studies, but on the cats for upper respiratory disease. But they come in with the with the kittens and they need a home, so they ask us because they know we like cats and then all of us end up with kittens. <laughs> no? Are we done? Oh, look at that face. She's done. She says, I'm full. I'm full. And where do you guys see the next one? And you take part, oh look at Ebony Jr. I'm so hungry, if I don't eat now, I'm gonna freak out. And she's, this one's all black. She's eating me, look. It's time for me to eat, where's the milk? And now she gets food because otherwise I'm going to be covered in kitten hickeys. Kitten hickeys! Come here! Come here! I know. I know. Life is terrible. Come on. And they like get frantic until they figure out what's happening and then they calm down once they get some milk. There we go. She figured it out. Yay! And what did you call this one? Oh, her name is Abracadabra, but um, we're trying to come up with names for all of them, but this is the first one that we actually have a name for, just because they're going to be here for a while, so they might as well have names. Be here for a while, you meaning at your house? Yep. <laughs> now, do, with them being at your house and because you're getting them through the clinic that you work for, do they help with the cost of food? They give you everything. So they um, give you the formula and the bottles and... And then if you have older kittens, they'll give you food, they'll give you litter boxes. 
towels, toys, everything. So I encourage everyone to go do fostering if you can because the sad truth is is that these kittens would be euthanized if I didn't do this. So if you are home all the time or if you can do it, it's it's really worth it and it's really fun. So any shelter you go to, especially right now because it's kitten season, any shelter you go to is going to have kittens that you can do. You'll probably have to do an application and stuff, but... Oh my goodness, the bottle is so, so big. Now she has a beautiful face and it's all cool. And these kittens had fleas um, when I got them. Um, tons of fleas, like 50. It was crazy. And what do you do with that? Because they're too young, obviously, to do, like, the flea dips and stuff like that. Yeah, so they're, um, you can't give them treatments because... It's toxic to them because of their size and their age. Um, but Dawn dish soap has something in it that kills fleas. And we, so we just bathed them and then looked for fleas and pulled them off. Um, and the fleas basically die right away when you put them in Dawn dish soap. So I just filled my sink with like a little bit of water, tried to like soak them, but you have to hold their head up because they're so little. And yeah. then, um, just wash them with the Dawn, and they're usually okay. Hi, Screamer. What are you doing? This is the older one. And you don't have a name for her yet either? This is a boy. Or him. I don't have a good name for him. He's so fluffy. He's really cute. I know. He's adorable. First look at his belly, because it's so round. It's such a round belly. He's got a Buddha belly. Round belly. You're <laughs> uh, so cute. You're so cute. <coughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm really loving UC Davis, because I just get to play with animals all day long. If you like animals, it's the place to go. Just saying. Yeah. Oh, this is the Dawn soap that I used. It's I think any Dawn works, but this one is like all natural, biodegradable. Yeah, it's just like more natural and like there's no dyes and stuff. So I went with that one because it's good awesome. for them. Good to know. Yeah. Who would have known, right? Something so random would work. I'll try to take more videos of the kittens as they get older and stuff so you guys can get updates on them because they're freaking cute. That would be awesome. I know people would love that. Mm. So, all right, baby, say goodbye to the neighborhood community. Goodbye, neighborhood community. All right, so good night, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this and... Um, Sorry to say you didn't see too much of Val today. She hasn't been feeling good. So, uh, but if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. And share this with all your friends and relatives. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye.